Hello, I'm Justin from the website BISH, which you can see here. My latest book is Can We Talk About Consent? A book about choices, freedom and agreements, which you can see here. It's where you can learn about how to actually do consent rather than having someone just tell you how important it is. The illustrations by Fuchsia Macquarie are amazing. Absolutely amazing, so check it out. As you can see in the contents, consent is more than just a yes or a no. It's about freedom, choices, and agreement in our everyday lives, and it's not just about sex. The vibe of the book is that it's pretty serious, but also there is, it's pretty friendly as well, hopefully, and there are some jokes in it. There might not be funny, but there are jokes. It's available to buy on 5th of January 2021 from all good bookshops, but it's also available to pre-order now. Um, online or your nearest independent bookshop will be able to order it in for you. It's COVID time, so I don't know how you buy your books, uh, maybe online, or maybe you can get your local independent bookshop to order it in for you but I've got links for where you can do this over at the website. As you can see a lot of this book is about pizza uh, that's because when I found out I was going to write this book I took myself off to buy to eat a celebratory pizza and then I started thinking about my choices and what I was choosing from the pizza and I just started thinking about how freedoms and choices start with us and how uh, important it is to be able to tune into what it is that we actually want from pizza from TV from life in general um, but also how difficult that is and how it's made more difficult often by society the next chapter expands on that and talks about agency which is a really really important word so agency is like our power to make choices for ourselves to be able to be who we want to be like the expression you do you but also that is really heavily interlinked with other people but also our place in society and how society views us and how many rights society gives us as individuals of course most of this book is about how to learn to do things with other people more consensually it's about helping you to tune into what it is that you want but also how you can help other people tune into what they want to do but then also about how you can on, on an ongoing basis tune into whether this is how well this is going for you and whether this is something that you're both enjoying or not okay so that's what consent is it's about having conversations before during and after to make sure that it's more consensual that you're both agreeing that you're both making the right choice for yourselves and also that you're choosing something you both want to do together and also crucially that you're enjoying whatever it is that you're doing this is my favorite drawing in the book by the way i love this there's a chapter on how to ask also, there's a chapter, sadly, about no. This is both about hearing and saying a no and how important that is. There's a chapter about consensual interactions. So in this case, we're talking about consensual greetings, like how we do a handshake or a fist bump or a high five or a hug or a COVID elbow or a non-contact greeting, like a kind of a, a salute or a, a nod of the head or something. I use this idea of consensual greetings a lot when i'm teaching this in school so shout out to any of you if you've done the consent workshop uh with me in school where we've done the handshakes uh, also shout out to my mate meg john barker who um helped me develop this idea years ago then yes there is a chapter about sex where you can put all of this into practice kind of like karate kid style uh, for if you choose to have sex with someone just like on my website bish there's lots of practical ideas about how you can talk about things before you don't have sex and also how you can communicate during it and also how you can talk about it afterwards to make sure that it was consensual and also more enjoyable you don't have to read this bit if you don't want to i give you plenty of warning about this you can always skip to the next chapter in fact you don't have to read this book at all i mean i would like it if you did i mean please read the book please buy the book but honestly you don't have to don't feel like you have to do this but it would it would please me greatly if you wanted to read the book. But, you know, honestly, it's your call. You really don't have to. Please, please, get the book, please. This chapter is about just not doing something. So there's always pressure on us to do the thing. So either to have sex with someone uh, or to, like, to go into the haunted house. Uh, or to face down the scary school bully and things like that. There's always pressure on us to do the thing. And sometimes the best thing is just to be like... Eh, eh, let's not. How do you put all of this into practice when you're doing things in groups? Well, we've got lots of practical ideas about how you can do that in my book. Whether you're going to the pictures or playing a game of football or if you're in a band or if you're just organising yourselves more generally, you know, like politically, if you're doing like another uh, climate strike or something like that or you're just getting together to organise yourselves. Some more ideas in here about how you can do this consensually. At the end of the book, we start to get more political, which is really, really important. And it's like, for me, I think it's an essential thing that we need to be talking about when we're talking about consent. We'll look at politics and identity. 
and how these are maybe barriers, but also opportunities for more freedom and more consent. Firstly, it's important to think about the different messages that we receive about our agency, our ability to choose, our power to act, based on what gender we are. Then looking at how inequality and oppression means that agency, so our ability to choose, is not fairly distributed in society, depending on who we are. Then I explain about solidarity, about how if we all pull our agency together into collective agency, we can start to give people more agency, more freedom, more choices. It's also a fun set of worksheets at the back to help you put this into practice. For example, this one about how to choose what to watch on TV with someone. It's available for pre-order now, but it's published on the 5th of January 2021. Please, please, please pre-order it uh, from any online bookseller or your local independent bookshop. Uh, they'll be able to get it in. It should be available worldwide. It costs about £8.99. I don't know what that is in other currencies, but that's like approximately what it is. You can get it for cheaper than that. It's published by Francis Lincoln Books, an imprint of Quarto Books, so thank you to my publishers, yay! And in the meantime, do check out my website if you have any questions about relationships, sex, your relationship to yourselves and the wider world. Um, I may well have answered your question here, just check out some of the articles, but also please pre-order my book. Please, 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 I mean, if you want to, you don't have to, it would please me if you did, but honestly, you don't feel like you have to, but you know, now everyone else is going to buy it, but you don't feel like you have to, you know. I mean, it's okay for everyone else to read something and for you to be missing out. That's completely fine, isn't it? I mean, you know, it's completely your choice. It would please me if you did this. It would be a big favour to me if you did it. But honestly, you don't, have, don't feel like you have to. I mean, really, I mean, please do. But honestly, I really don't feel like you have to. But yeah, please, no, I would like, but, you know, I would like it if you did. But honestly, you don't, I mean, yeah, I would like it if you did. But honestly, don't feel like you have to.